And like it is today, I doubt very many people will be in the mood to move, but we'll soon be in that busy season for people trying to pack up and make a big move, whether it's an apartment to a home or a home to another home. Uh, some movers are out there, unfortunately, trying to scam their customers. Well, Jenna Ryder is a sales consultant for Two Men and a Truck, and she joins us to talk about some ways that you can protect yourself during what is an already stressful time. I don't think there's anything in the world more stressful than no. trying to get everything together to make a big move. Right, it's the most stressful part of anyone's life. Yeah. They you know, rate it as the top three most stressful times in someone's life. Yeah, I've, I've done it, I've, and I can I <laughs> guarantee you it is the most stressful. Okay, you're gonna make the big move, mm -hmm. um, and you, you have to hire a company to help you. Right. What would you uh, suggest be the first thing that a person do? Uh, definitely ask lots of questions. You know, when you reach out to movers, make sure you get multiple estimates. Um, you never need to pay for an estimate. It should be free. Um, that's a lot of scams in the area. People get you on that. Yeah. Um, in home consultations, if you're above a three bedroom and you would like for somebody to come out to you, definitely do that. Um, just but making sure that you're asking a lot of questions about, um, you know, are, are they insured? Um, uh, do they do require a deposit and yeah. things like that. Yeah, let's talk about the money, uh, the money side of it, because for many people that is the issue. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 when should people expect extra fees? You know, sometimes there's a base price for the move, but then if they do certain kinds of services for you, there are extra fees. Uh, what are legitimate reasons for that? Uh, uh, what, what should people look out for? It's not unusual for a moving company to require an extra fee for um, things like pianos, um, pianos with stairs, um, large safes, and things like that. Okay, so big, cumbersome, and heavy things that may, right. may require some extra work. Yes. So that, that wouldn't be uh, uh, that unusual. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, what about the, uh, a deposit? I, I know that if you have some work done on your home, uh, sometimes the, uh, 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 the person doing that work will require some part up front. Uh, is a deposit uh, part, uh, should that be normal? Yes. Um, most reputable companies do require a deposit. Um, but you just want to ask questions as far as, you know, if they need to cancel and if that would be refundable if they need to change their date. Yeah. Now, you talked about a quote, too, that a quote should be free. Uh, yes. So the, does it matter how big the, the quote is or how much effort somebody has to put into it? Or? No. Whether you're moving long distance across state lines or local, you should never have to pay for an estimate. All right. And, and in terms of uh, the people who will actually make the move for you, uh, are there certain qualifications that you should look for or you should ask them about? Well, two men and a truck employees are all background checked and drug screened and regardless if a, um, a, custom, a, custom, a company sorry, is um, bonded and insured, the employees may be day laborers. So you want to ask questions on how they hire their employees and what type of training they go through. And I would suspect that if they're a legit company and they're not trying to do you any harm, that they're, you're not going to get any pushback when you ask for this kind of, uh, uh, ask if they're bonded, if they're insured, and what yes. kind of training their employees go through. Yeah, so they're, they should be able to tell you how much training that their employees go through. Yeah, is there a place where people can uh, find out more information about uh, 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 how to prepare, both in terms of uh, the number of boxes you get, yeah. Uh, and that sort of thing. Is there, is there something you can, because uh, some people will want to do that in advance to make that move as short as possible. Of course. So two men in a truck, if you call, you will always get a live representative. Um, you can go on the Better Business Bureau website to check out uh, local movers and make sure that they're a reputable company. Um, and you can always, you know, check their website and make sure that you're getting what you're paying for. All right. Well, that's some good advice. Uh, the bottom line is do your homework. Do your yes. homework before you do it and ask lots and ask lots of questions. Ask lots of questions. All right. Take care, and don't uh, tell you guys not to strain their backs. I'm out not there. To. So, so, uh, <laughs>